This is Nissan in Game Live with Ron Jaworski. I'm Michael Barkan. Twenty-four nothing. It just it does say twenty-four nothing. Let's face it, Jaws. They're losing this game. I mean, we we know where it's going. To win this game would be a miracle. And the way they've gone over the last, it will be the last six games. They will have lost five of their final six on the way out of the regular season. And we were so confident. You know, they'll handle Tampa next week. I know we're not on Tampa yet. They ain't handling Tampa either. This is the most pathetic finish to an Eagles season that I can remember. I would challenge you, even the co tight year when they started 7-2. This team is not equipped to play football, Jaws. It is disappointing to say the least. Um, I feel a lot worse than you do, and you've expressed it pretty eloquently, you know, the, the condition and state of this team right now. You know, we talked on the pregame show what we expected today. We just wanted to see, you know, we didn't know what was going to happen down in Washington with Dallas, but we want to see this team look like a professional football team ready to go to the playoffs. It's far from that. Offense, defense, special teams, coaching, I, 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 I can't find one positive thing in 30 minutes of football. Not one positive thing. Our quarterback hurt his finger, dislocated on what it was. Why was he back in the game? They wrapped it and put it out on what they did, but he shouldn't have been back in the game. Yeah. You know, A.J. Brown – Hurt his knee. I don't know if he's going to be back in the game. We already got Smitty out. Um, just this thing is bungled by the coaching staff for the last seven weeks. And 24 nothing to the lowly New York football giants who we've yeah. owned for 12 years. Five win giants. Should be the four win giants. You know, well, we barely beat them. But, but uh, I'll tell you what, Jaws, when, when you look at this, normally in a game, you can say, well, if they had just done this, they would have been in contention. If they had just done that, there is no one thing you can point to, is there, where where we can say if they had shored this up, they would be winning the game. Well, if they didn't play, that'd be the only chance because they're getting beat in every you know every way possible. You know, we talked about the pre, in the pregame show a lot about this big meeting that they had. That AJ Brown called this meeting, and they really were able to, to to vet and give their feelings and come together as a team. And I I made the comment. I said I've been with a lot of really good head coaches. They really didn't, they don't like those team meetings because usually when you go into those team meetings with a problem, you come out with ten. And to me, that's what it seemed like today. They yeah. had this meeting, and every when you go in those meetings, a players only meeting, you know. So one guy calls a meeting, he'll he'll air his grab. So all the other guys think, okay, hey, I'm in this meeting, I'm on the team. Hey, I got something to say too. I the next guy says, hey, I don't like the way my coach treat me. Hey, we should run the ball more. We should throw the ball more. We should just so now. Everyone's involved. Rather than one guy calling a meeting, and as a positive, I love AJ Brown. Don't, I don't want this to be misconstrued the wrong way. I love AJ Brown. I think he all meant. I think he meant really good. He wanted to kind of clear the air from his personal situation, but it compounds everybody. And this team looks dysfunctional right now. I'm not blaming on a team meeting, but there's nothing good about this team right now. The offense has a, a goose egg, a goose egg on that scoreboard. Jalen Hurts. I predict he'd come out of here pissed off in his game because he didn't get voted to the Pro Bowl, and he's such a, a, a prideful guy. He's been awful. Receiver's been awful. The running game's been awful. The old line's been awful. They can't pick up a blitz. Nothing has gone right. You want me to go to defense now? Let's They've go to been defense. Yeah, the defense is they're not tackling. They're whiffing on tackles. And guys are wide open, not open, wow. wide open. Wide open. So Blankenship was basically carried into the end zone by Saquon Barkley. Yeah. He he gave up another long reception that ended up was a touchdown later on. And it's 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 amazing that these are the same Eagles that were 10 and 1 through the first 11 weeks of the season. It just it does not compute, but it looks like a team, Jaws, that A is lost. And if they're not lost, that they quit. I hate to say that. Yeah. You use the term in the pregame program, loafing. It looks like they're loafing and then some. When you're waving at guys going by you, and I don't know what you would say the statistics are uh, as guys get the ball and they run to them, uh, to the Eagles defenders, how many yards they get. You had a statistic for that in the pregame well, show. It looks similar today. It looks very similar to that. In fact, you know, it was, it was the Arizona game a week ago. It was 116 yards before contact from a defensive player. 116 yards before contact. After contact, 105. So, in other words, your defensive line's getting whipped. Your linebackers aren't tackling. And your secondary's not tackling. That's what that's at the, and today the pass defense is getting gutted by Tyrod Taylor. Yeah. Tyrod. Gutted by Tyrod Taylor is an embarrassment. It's an embarrassment. They throw in the ball for 229 yards in the first half against all these high priced first round draft choices we have in there. They've got 272 total yards. They're on track for 550 yards. These are Tom Brady like numbers. We're talking Tyrod Taylor here. 
Yeah. Tyrod Taylor. Most people even don't even know he was in the league anymore. Yeah. Lighten us up like a like a he's got a passer rating stick. of 108 plus. And then you mentioned the Dallas Washington game. It's now 21 10 in favor of Dallas, but Washington had the lead early in the first half. 10 7. Yeah. You know what? And the Eagles had to keep up their end. They didn't even have an end to keep up. So I, I don't know what happens here. I'm not I'm not looking for adjustments. I'm not looking for anything in this second half. They should forfeit the darn game, for goodness sakes. But I'll tell you one thing. I was certain that regardless of what happened today, that they were going to take care of Tampa next week. And I am way less certain than ever that this team can get a win in the first week of the playoffs. I really don't see it because Tampa Bay is going to scout them. They're going to see all this pathetic play, and it's going to be over. Well, I'm already formulating my game plan for next year, what Tampa's going to do. They're going to blitz the hell out of Jalen. Our offensive line of backs have not handled the blitz at all today. And, you know, you're, if Mario's got to go to the second half, he's going to be running for his life. I'll guarantee you that because they cannot pick up these blitzes. Uh, Wink Martindale is a defense corner for the Giants. Todd Bowles down there in, in Tampa is the same style coach. Heavy blitz, exotic blitzes, designer blitzes. They'll get after Jalen Hurts. So, but I, I – I'd like to say, hey, we got that game. I, I felt it pregame. I don't feel. I don't know. If we can beat anybody yeah. right now. One last, a couple of the worst teams in football whipped us. One last point. I, I thought that the switch from Sean Desai to Matt Patricia was not as big as it seems to me now. It seems nuclear now. <laughs> Do you agree that that? Yeah. I thought it was going to be no big deal. I mean, Matt Patricia is a guy who assisted Bill Belichick all those years. Didn't do a good job as a head coach in Detroit, but he was a solid defensive coordinator. It's worse. He's an excellent defense coordinator. I'm not. I'm not going to blame this on him. W what happens is players get used to a voice. That voice was Sean Desai, not Matt Patricia for the first twelve whatever games it was. That's the guy they listen to. That's the guy that they understand. That's the guy they communicate with. All of a sudden, that guy is gone. The communication goes to someone else. It takes time to develop a relationship. When you call plays and see the field, you have to see it through the same eyes. You have to understand what's going to happen. If if, a, if an offense or defense here we were talking about the defense. If you're in sync, you almost don't need a play caller. You almost don't need a defensive coach. You know, the, the, one of the players, you know, crap, captain in line could call the plays because the defense is in sync. But once that change, it, it started before that. I don't agree with the change. I, I thought it may give us a jump start. It didn't. And, and it, it just, the communication just has not been there. All right. Well, uh, you know, I don't know if there's, there could be less said. I mean, we, I, I, <laughs> there can't. Be, I know there can't be more. We had a, we had a, we had a couple of half times earlier this year that were. I mean, we were not happy with. This this is stunning. It's stunning. This is this is stunning. Twenty four nothing to the Giants, who we've owned for a decade, and they're whipping our butts right uh, now. Yeah, and it would be the cherry on top. Cherry on top in quotes of of a six week span where the Eagles lose five of six games. The only win being the New York Giants. The five win. Giants are and that came down to Hail Mary win. at the end, too. Yeah, you're, you're right. right yeah. You're right. All right. When the clock hits zero to this game, we will be uh, yelling and screaming a little bit uh, on Eagles. Oh, post boy, you better, have, you better have some fire extinguishers because we're going to be hot. It's good. It's going to be nuts. But here's the on the upside. What? Are, what? What? Going to the playoffs. Hey! 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 I, don't know if, confetti. Uh, I don't know if they're going to win a game, but they are going to the playoffs. You're Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, so that, that will do it for Nissan in-game live, and then we'll see you post-game. Uh, Barrett Brooks has you after the third quarter, everybody. Thanks for watching.